Hello citizens, this is Jamie from Randomized User. Now if you're thinking about making your own Let's Play videos, then you may wonder how long does it actually take? Uh, the short answer is anywhere between the length of a video and forever. Uh, the long answer is what makes up the rest of this video, which you are now legally obliged to watch. Aren't you glad you asked, Kyle? First, why not just stream your Let's Plays, eh? Well, the benefits are obvious. You get a full hour's worth of content for every hour of work you put in. You also get direct feedback from your audience through chat, which can guide you into showing exactly what they want to see. However, there's a big but, a big thick but. The resulting on-demand video will contain stuff that you'd want to edit out. Repetition, mistakes, outright libel, peen, your neighbours banging, and the time your backdrop fell over during a PUBG stream. Also, your chat interaction isn't ideal if you're making gameplay videos. Uh, people who watch the on-demand video to see you playing the game have no interest in your shoutouts to Big Boy 69 or whoever. So really, if you want to make gameplay videos, I'd avoid streaming. It's a different beast. Okay, so before we get onto some real-life examples from my experience, um, here are some of the hidden time costs for making Let's Plays. Number one, finding a game to play. I don't sweat this too much if you're just starting out, but be aware that once you commit to putting out videos regularly, finding new games to play that will attract and keep an audience, that can take more time than your tiny little human brain can possibly comprehend. Number two, finding the time to play. It's not always easy to find time to record, and even then it might not be ideal because the one hour you set aside to record might be the time your dreadful housemate decides to learn to play the drums. Number three, playing the game first. You were thinking about playing the game before you actually record, weren't you? Think very carefully before doing fully blind Let's Plays, and then watch my video on the worst Let's Play mistakes. Number four, editing the video. Now, sometimes I record a video from beginning to end without needing to make a single cut, other than cleaning up the start and end. Other times, I spend hours cutting between two player perspectives every few seconds. Either way, whatever time you think it'll take to edit the video, double it. Number five, exporting, converting, uploading. In my current setup, exporting a video takes about the same time as the video length, and I usually convert the exported video to a smaller file, which takes half as much time again. Then I upload the video, which can take anything from 10 minutes to an hour. Number six, technical difficulties. OBS will crash. Your game will crash. You will accidentally delete footage. You will forget to press record. Your hard drive will suddenly get full. Your hard drive will suddenly fail spectacularly. Your audio will corrupt. Your monitor cable will work loose. Ha 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 ha, it says here. Number seven, SEO and marketing. Creating a thumbnail, writing a good title and lengthy description full of searchable keywords, marketing your video on social media and wherever else. Ha, huh. yeah, it does take a lot of time, but you do want people to actually watch your video, don't you? So we're now going to look back at some of my recent videos as examples of the different times it can take to make videos. I'm ignoring exporting and uploading here. Oxygen not included ranching update, 20 hours plus. To show off what was in the latest update to this game, I needed to have a mature colony with access to oil. Uh, since I hadn't played it for a while, to get to the stage where I could start recording, I spent 10 hours building a colony from scratch, only for it to start heading towards disaster so I had to spend another 10 hours doing it right. Uh, so this video took about 20 hours to make before I'd even edited the thing. Uh, thankfully, this is an outlier. The Long Reach, one hour. In contrast to the last one, this took only 10 minutes to see if I could get on with the game, and another 40 minutes to record, and then about five minutes editing out the parts where I was failing to progress. Easy. Minecraft Feed the Bees, one to five hours. Uh, this depends on the episode, um, but sometimes I have to do several hours of research on how the various mods work, plus off-camera preparation in the video to clean up my base, my new resources, and so on. I'm not cheating at all in this series, by the way. All resources are being got, honestly. A Starbound Fracking Universe can take similar time, though there's much less off-camera stuff there. Freeze the core. 20 minutes?! A 10 minute video playing a short game jam game, and one where I literally made one jump cut near the end and that's it. I dream of it always being this easy. Station Ears! Rah! Ludum Dare Compilations, two hours plus. These videos usually have five games in them, played for long enough to show off what the game's trying to do. Yet with practice, I can have an episode recorded and edited in less than two hours. 
but admittedly that's ignoring the time it takes to find the better games from Ludum Dare, which is an art in itself. So really, a lot of this is based on choices. Do you want to play games where you can just put out pretty much what you record? Are you into complex games with a lot of different systems to learn? Or arcade score attacks maybe? Are you confident enough in your commentary? In theory, the quality of your final video goes up the more time you're willing to spend on editing, but in my case, some videos that took me no time at all get more views than some that took ages. Although in my case, the videos that get most views from me aren't even Let's Plays, they're the scripted stuff, like the top 10 rare weapons in Starbound, Rimworld's beginner's mistakes, and that video on how long does it take to make a Let's Play, that kind of thing. So consider that food for thought before embarking on a 20 episode playthrough of something nobody cares about! Anywho, thanks for watching, and do press subscribe to get uncomfortably close to the turbulent core of this stupid s- who wrote this rubbish? Anyway, as well as watching videos about all the best new indie games around. Now go from this place. Go!